Mighty do, ladies and gentlemen. Get your ears up for that one. I have been looking forward to this all day. Ooh. Dude. I got something different. I normally get the Strawberry Gladiator or Strawberry Hulk. It just kind of depends. I got the Strawberry Hulk, but with blueberries. Oh, oh, oh my God, dude. Sweet strawberries, not unsweet strawberries. 32 ounce strawberry Hulk. Add blueberries. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Oh my God. Damn. Dude, I'm still just absolutely infatuated with this movie. Oh, I need to clean my camera off. Yeah, so, I have no idea why, but for some reason, y'all want to know what is in my toolbox. I, I guess I'll show you. Uh, oh. Yeah, so, there's a look inside my toolbox. We have, uh, we have, a uh, no parking sign. I'm taking that out just made all of this get unorganized and I can't do that. I'm a very organized, unorganized person, if that makes any sense. We got a hammer, you know, because hammer things and, ye, you know, we have the old half inch torque wrench. Yeah, I used to work at O'Reilly's and before I quit, I used my discount to like get a bunch of stuff for my truck and just couple tools and stuff that I needed and this was one of them I mean I think it was like 35 to 50 dollars somewhere around there I think it goes to 150 foot pounds yeah it goes to 150 foot pounds but I mean I I've never had any problems with it it's always been good we got some wire because you never know when you need to hang your exhaust up you know we got the old Bremens baby the old Bremens vice grips I can't just leave that in there like that. Got the old duct tape. I mean, obviously, I, do I even need to explain why I have duct tape? Fishing rod holder. That's a story. Scissor jack that I'm not taking out. The old machete that y'all saw a couple videos ago. <laughs> you know. That's like the handles and stuff for the scissor jack. Little toolbox inside toolbox inception right now. We got some wire connectors, O-rings, little hose clamps. That's all heat shrink tubing. These are the bolts that I bought from when I was gonna put my shorty headers on, but they didn't end up working, so. Yep, stuck them in there. Cotter pins. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, it's because the hammer's in the way. Gotcha. Spin that all the way around. Screwdriver, little, you know, and then we got a little bigger magnet, snippy snips, a tiny little open end adjustable crescent wrench thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pliers, like a little one foot breaker bar, foot and a half maybe. That fits my lug nuts. Uh, used to have a razor blade knife in here somewhere, but don't see it anymore. But that's the razor blades for it. This is for to take my calipers off. This is what you need. It's a that. Yeah. Uh, then when you take when you take your shirt off, you get to see the good stuff. We got the old little hand transfer pump, grease, gasket maker. Dialect grease, like the super st sticky stuff when you need a gasket to be held on, you know. Oh, there's my knife. Sweet. Anisees, gasket maker again, impact extensions, little spark plug tester thingamadoodle, you know. Oh, there's my other screwdriver. No way. I'm finding all this stuff I've been missing. It, it, and it was just right there the whole time. Allen keys, tire pressure gauge. I honestly did not even know that was in there. I'm not gonna lie. Wobble sockets. 
and all the way down in there, torch bit sockets. And then there's just some normal chrome extensions down in there too. I know y'all don't care about that. Come on. I don't know why y'all want to know what's in my toolbox anyway. But hey, hey, you're finding out. Then we got some random power steering fluid. We got some fuel line. Yeah, some, some fuel line. Got the old Harbor Freight special, you know, ratcheting wrenches. Oh, yeah. Those are actually really nice. One of probably my favorite purchases I've made is that right there. Dude, they're just so nice. And if you move the old Earthquake XT out of the way, slip and slide that over. We got metric and standard impact sockets. I mean, they're literally... Let me just get... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get over there. I can't even open it because it's chains in the way. This is a giant chain. I mean... You never know when you need a chain. We got just the old super basic DeWalt tool set, you know, and just kind of, kind of everything's in it. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of, your ne your bare necessities are in there. Look for the bare necessities. Last but not least, we got the old Earthquake XT, baby. My buddy bought this. One of my good friends bought this so long ago. It was the first impact he ever owned. And I never had a big impact. And he got a Milwaukee impact, and I was like, well, I'll buy your old impact. How much you want for it? And he was like, 40 bucks. And I was like, I'm coming to get it right now. So, we got the old Earthquake XT, baby. Honestly, really nice. Never had any problems with it at all. I mean, I barely use it. But a $40 impact, bro. Come on now. Yeah, that is everything in my toolbox. Don't know why y'all wanted to know that, but now you know. There's something else I wanted to teach y'all. If y'all did not know, your OBS comes from the factory with autopilot, okay? You just have to figure out how to engage it because no one ever talks about it or anything. You, you just, once you figure out how to engage it and turn it on, you never have to drive again. It literally, it's like it's driving itself. It is unreal, I'm about to show you. So step number one, put her in park. Then you're gonna hop out, open the hood. Very important that the engine is still running. You're gonna open the hood, right? Then you're gonna wanna hit her with a Simba. You know what I'm saying? Simba! And then, close the hood, hop back in, slam her in drive, and then hop back out. And bam. Autopilot has been installed, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look at, dude, it's literally driving itself. Is that not insane? My truck is literally, it's literally, it, it's, I, I can't, I, it's going a little bit too fast. Literally just, I, I don't even have to do anything, you know? And if you want to get really ballsy, you can even put the cruise control on, right? And you can just let it do this at 60 miles an hour down the interstate, you know? I'm going to turn the steering wheel. A little bit. Yeah, let me just make sure I'm not about to die. Oh, we're good. Yeah, baby. Shoo! Dang, she is sexy, son. Look at her just army crawling over. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. See you later. You're, you're, you're going, you're, you... So, the steering... I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really trust the steering just yet. You know, it's kind of turn. It's kind of in the early development. The steering is, but I mean, the speed is just, you know, it's just the speed is top notch, perfect for beginners like myself. You know, you just gotta, what well, you just gotta, you just gotta get used to having a vehicle drive itself. You know, do it. Should I do it? Should I do it? Ah! Do not do that. Okay, please, please do not do that. Do not do that. So yeah, now you know how to install autopilot on your OBS Chevrolet. It's going straight for the ditch, and I think I might just let it go. Let me let me get my smoothie real quick. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Straighten her up on a little bit. Uh-huh. 
Oh, that's perfect right there. Hop back out. Autopilot engaged again. You can be standing here. Drinking your beverage of choice. Having a grand old time, you know. It, it's like it's like you're walking a dog, but you're walking your truck, you know. It's kind of kind of a very emasculating feeling, you know. Oh, it's downhill now. She's speeding up. She's speeding up. I'm not chasing my truck down a hill. Come on. I will sit in it, though, and just see how fast it would get. We're starting to crest the top. We are already getting there. Oh, yeah, bro. We're about to hit 10 miles an hour. I would have been sprinting after my truck. Oh, yep. We're at, uh, we're about to hit 15. Oh, yeah. 15. Still going down the hill. No, I'm not hitting the gas. You've been watching my RPMs this whole time. Oh, and we're about to hit 20, 19. Uh, we only hit like 19. I literally would have been full sprint hauling after my truck. <laughs> that would have been no bueno. <laughs> All seriousness, do not do that. Obviously, I am completely joking. Do not do that. These trucks do not have autopilot. It's just entertainment purposes only, okay? We're going back uphill, so I am going to get out again. I'm not going to lie. Grab my smoothie. Yep, thank you for that, sweetheart. Why is this so satisfying? I'm literally about to go into the trees. I feel like this is a perfect spot to try this. Right on a perfectly flat bridge. And, and you gotta really be, you gotta be quick with it. You know, you gotta let off the brake and hop out at the exact same time, you know? You gotta, you know what I'm saying? And then autopilot just automatically engages. It's automatic. So many people do not know that, but it, it just, it automat, it knows what to do. They come from the factory with autopilot already in them. And a lot of y'all have been asking me what it's like to daily drive an OBS. Pretty much just gonna, pretty much just gonna sum it up for you in, in about five seconds, you'll, you, you'll pretty much grasp what it's like to daily drive an OBS. So it goes a little bit like this. <laughs> I'm coming in way too hot in this turn. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up. You floor it, you go nowhere, and it's really loud. And you get really bad gas mileage. That's, that's pretty much it. Dog, this sunset is beautiful. Look at that. Figured I'd give y'all a little OBS ASMR, you know what I'm saying? I want a big dog, a big dog, real big. I want a big dog.